A Love Song of Pomegranates They say to look for one that feels heavier than it appears. I test each fruit in the palm of my hand, feeling for the weight of its buried gems. Back home, I run the tip of my knife through the thick skin, just deep enough so I can crack it open. I peel back pale membranes, thumb the fruit until they loosen and drop. It is a slow process, methodical. I work away at each section, wiggling out the ruby teeth. It is crucial not to break them. Of course, there are always a few mistakes. The bowl fills, the tips of my fingers blush. My love wraps his arms around me and watches the work. He sneaks a handful and slaps them into his mouth all at once. I furrow my brow at him. He laughs. We are different that way. I eat them one by one, picking them up between finger and thumb. I hold them up to the light. I pretend I am eating heartbeats. I pretend I am Persephone, though I've made my decision long ago, and it was a good one. Pomegranates are a practice in patience. I don't mind that by the time we are done, he's eaten twice as much as I have. We love in different ways. He, eager and ravenous, grinning with a mouth full of juice. And I, counting each moment, remembering the work I had done to get here, breaking each jewel between tongue and teeth. Why is it not focusing? Yeah.